students in this video we are going to understand a short story the name of the short story is the night train at Dioli by Ruskin Baum this is the second lesson of the module number one in the paper language skills short story is written by Ruskin Baum is an Indian novelist he is actually not an Indian but he was born in India and brought up in India and lives in India and he is known uh, he is recognized as great uh, children's writer in India and he has got many awards for that Bond was born in 1934 and he is still a living personality he is an aged person but still active in writing so he had written almost more than 500 short stories more than 500 short stories then 29 novels some essays such like he was born in Kaswali in Himachal Pradesh the first work published by him was the room on the roof in 1956 and it was a novel and there are certain notable works published by him they are the blue umbrella cherry tree on the roof the night train at Dioli a flight of pigeons these are his famous works and uh, from this one these famous works we are going to study the night train at Dioli a writer he has been awarded for John Levelin Rice Prize in 1957 Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 Padma Shri in 1999 Padma Bhushan in 2014 and Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017 of his works been adapted for films and TV series they are The Blue Umbrella A Flight of Pigeons as Junoon, Susanna's Seven Husbands, Ekta Rasti, the TV series on Duradashan. In a Dioli is a very beautiful story written by Ruskin Bone. It in fact tells one of his autobiographical experience he had uh, when he was a an, uh, an adolescent person short story Ruskin Bond narrates his experience during one of his train journeys to Dehra as an 18 year old boy he tells us that he used to spend his vacation every summer in his grandmother's place in Dehra and had to pass a small lonely station Dioli amidst the jungle on the way this station appears strange to him as now one got on or off the train there nothing seemed to happen there the wonders he wonders why the train stopped there for 10 minutes regularly without reason and feel sorry for the lonely little platform all uh, like to remember and recollect our experience in the past you will also do the same when you get old Ruskin now got old he tries to recollect one of his 
childhood experiences when he was at the age of 18 and it was a time he spent he used to spend his vacation in his grandmother's place in Dehra his grandmother was living in Dehra and he used to go there to spend his vacation and he has to pass a small lonely station to reach his grandmother's place the name of the station is Dioli and the station is at mist in a jungle on the way Katen Nidayurla Uri Chariya Ottapata railway station Dioli amidst the jungle on the way the station appears strange to on or off there nothing seemed to happen there he wonders why the train stopped there for 10 minutes regularly without reason and feel sorry for the lonely little platform. So, you know, you know, you know, you know, you train yatra know, you 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 know, On such a journey, the author happens to see a pale looking girl selling baskets. She appears to be poor, but with a grace and dignity. Her shiny black hair and dark troubled eyes attracts the author. The girl offers to sell baskets to him. He initially refuses to buy and later when she insists, happens to buy on with a little hesitation. Daring not to touch her fingers in the mallee, both of them just look at each other for quite some time. Just as it strikes the chord of affection between them, he longs to see her, her, her searching and eloquent eyes. Again on his return journey, the meeting helps to break the monotony of his journey and brings in the sense of attachment, responsibility toward the call. So, Kadayuda Pachatalam. Pengutikanalunda. <laughs> Ruthajasum, the Hankanavan Hidai. Ruskin Bond Varanada, Avlode, Mudi, Telangan, Telakamula Mudigal, Adabole, Telakamula Kana, Gulala, Endo Padiprama on Dairo. Either Katane, Editagarane, Penguti, Agar Shikin, the Ru, Sahajin Mundaki. Tana. Edgar and Ingene, Edgar and Dana Patuan to Isola, Ripayana Pam Avana Ingene Nokun the Gandapol, Penguti at a thick very Sunday basket in Lavastukala, we can not another Yaka, we can Koduki and Wangi and Kodikin Chido. Pashe, they come with the Vedican the Araila Pashe the Korachi the number of the Rubin the Chipola Yala the Vedichu. So, where did you put the name? The name of the Kai Virilagala, the Kai Virilagal Mutti, the other Taniluri Pratia Angashna Mutaki. the Okay, they have the name like Ipanguti, Karnam, Nadia, Agre, won't die. Terenian Okum Iron, Ipanguti, Karnan. Then the Tirichona journey limb to the Terenianoki. Either Tanda e Yatra, either where you love Veresama Yatra, Ulsagan Aki and Nana Yerta and Parade, where Pratega bent up Ipanguti Maita, a man singer Maya or bent up, would a little coanaita, Kadinu and the Yerta Garan Parade.
moving to the second part of the story it tells the second time that the author sees the girl the second time he sees her and then both of them feel pleased to see each other a smile comes on the faces and for them it seems like a meeting of all friends silence reigns and speaks more than words he feels like taking her with him but does not do so he tells her that he needs to go to delhi and she replies saying she need to go anywhere perhaps expressing her helplessness both of them separate them separate unwillingly as the train leaves the station with the hope of meeting again now the spends the remainder of his journey and a long time later thinking about her so the second part of the story tells a their reunion once again the other sees the girl once again it is with a great surprise they meet and they couldn't speak anything because of the anxiety and surprise and for for some minutes they couldn't utter even a single word and the other wants to take the girl with him but but he couldn't take her with him because he wants to go to delhi and uh, he thinks he will come again to take her and then both of them separate unwillingly they are not ready to separate but they have to separate and uh, the other leaves the station with the hope of meeting her again and the rest of the day the rest of the time he was thinking about her and uh, the story the second part of the story ends there bhagathu nammal kaanunnathu station like veendum varuna train agathu varuna kadagaran kadagaran station il irangunu pinneyum aa penkutiye kandumuttunu വീണ്ടും കണ്ട് കണ്ടുമുട്ടുന്നതിലുള്ള ആവേശവും ആഹ്ലാദവും അവരുടെ മുഖത്ത് അവരുടെ ചിരിയിൽ വളരെ വ്യക്തമാണ് പക്ഷേ ഇവർ കണ്ടുമുട്ടിയത് കണ്ടുമു വീണ്ടും കണ്ടുമുട്ടിയതിലുള്ള ആവേശം അവരുടെ വാക്കുകൾ പുറത്തേക്ക് വരുവാൻ കഴിയാത്ത അവസ്ഥയുണ്ടാക്കി കുറച്ചു നേരം അവർക്ക് ഒന്നും മിണ്ടുവാനെ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല ഈ പെൺകുട്ടിയെ തൻ്റെ വീട്ടിലേക്ക് കൂട്ടിക്കൊണ്ടുപോകാനുള്ള വലിയ ആഗ്രഹം കഥാകാരനുണ്ട് ഉണ്ടായി എങ്കിലും ഡൽഹിയിലേക്ക് താൻ പോകേണ്ടതുണ്ട് ഈ കാരണത്താൽ പെൺകുട്ടിയെ വീണ്ടും വന്ന് കൂട്ടിക്കൊണ്ടു പോകാം എന്നുള്ള തീരുമാനത്തോടെ ഇരുവരും പിരിയുന്നു തുടർന്നുള്ള സമയങ്ങളിൽ കഥാകാരൻ്റെ മനസ്സ് മുഴുവനും ഈ പെൺകുട്ടിയെ പറ്റിയും പെൺകുട്ടിയെ കണ്ടത് കണ്ടതിനെ പറ്റിയും ഒക്കെ ആയിരുന്നു story continues again and we come to see what happens in the next summer his college classes and he rushes to go to dehra to his grandmother's house the reason for going to his grandmother's house is an excuse to meet the girl this time he searches for the girl but she is not to be seen in the dioli station at the dioli station he waits for her her long time but she but he couldn't find her out this deeply disappoints the other and uh, it brings a kind of disillusionment to his mind 
on his way back to Delhi, he waits anxiously to see her, but still it ends in vain. He inquires about the girl to others, and he comes to know that the girl has stopped coming, and nobody knows anything about her. Once again, he has to run for the train and invariably leave the station. He decides that once he would break the journey there, spend a day in the town, make inquiries and find the girl who had stolen his heart. Grandmother ഇറങ്ങുകയും <laughs> കുറേ നേരം ഈ പെൺകുട്ടിയെ പരതി നടക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് പെൺകുട്ടിയെ കാണാതെ വരുമ്പോൾ മറ്റുള്ളവരോട് അവളെ പറ്റി ചോദിക്കുമ്പോൾ അവൾ ഈയിടെയായി റെയിൽവേ സ്റ്റേഷനിൽ വരാറില്ല എന്നും മറ്റൊന്നും ആർക്കും അവളെ പറ്റി അറിയില്ല എന്നുമാണ് ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടെ ആ സ്റ്റേഷനിൽ വന്നു ഇറങ്ങുകയും ആ സ്റ്റേഷന് ചുറ്റുമുള്ള സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലൊക്കെയും ആ പട്ടണത്തിലൊക്കെയും അവളെ തിരക്കാമെന്നുള്ള ആഗ്രഹം കഥാകാരൻ്റെ മനസ്സിലേക്ക് വരും തൻ്റെ ഹൃദയം കവർന്ന പെൺകുട്ടിയെ വീണ്ടും കണ്ടെത്തുക എന്നുള്ള ശ്രമത്തിലാണ് കഥാകാരൻ എഗെയിൻ ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ഇയർ ഇൻ സമ്മർ ഹി എഗെയിൻ വോക്സ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺ ദ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ഹോപ്പിംഗ് ടു സി ദ ഗേൾ ബട്ട് സം ഹൗ കെ നോട്ട് ബ്രിങ് ഹിം സെൽഫ് ടു ബ്രേക്ക് ദ ജേർണി ടു ലുക്ക് ഫോർ ഹർ ഹി സീംസ് ടു ബി എ ഫ്രൈഡ് ഓഫ് ഡിസ്കവറിങ് അബൌട്ട് ഹർ dreading about everything unfortunate that could have befallen her and wants to retain his sweet memories of her not to allow it to be spoiled with unfortunate events all the same the author also suggests to his readers that he did not want to project himself like a hero of the movie where the hero would meet his sweetheart going through all hardships and win her over he performs to keep hopping and dreaming waiting for the girl that part of the story we see uh, the author searching for the girl in dioli railway station platform so in the following year summer that means the next summer he comes to the station he walks up and down through the platform Uh, to search the girl and find her out. However, he couldn't, he couldn't bring himself to break the journey to look for her. So he is going for a journey and he cannot wait there for a long time. And also he seems to be afraid of discovering about her. See, he thinks if he finds her out there and uh, if he finds her and seeks her out it will be an embarrassing embarrassing situation that's what he feels so uh, sometimes she may be in a very miserable situation or in something unfortunate must have happened to her and uh, he only wants to retain his sweet memories that he had with her in the Thai past and he doesn't want to uh, means to spoil the spirit by seeking what must have happened what unfortunate situation must have caused her not to come all the same the author also suggests his readers that he didn't want to project himself like a hero of the movie where hero would meet his sweetheart going through all hardships and win her over 
he prefers to keep prefers to uh, keep hoping and dreaming and waiting for the call so oru cinema sadharana oru cinema il sambhavikunnathu pole allengile cinema ile oru kendra kadapaathram tande naayige theedi kandathunna athrathirulla oru aavesha aavesham onnum tande manasile thodi marche തനിക്ക് അവളോടൊപ്പം സമയം ചെലവഴിക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു ആ ആ സമയം ആ കാര്യങ്ങളുടെ ഓർമ്മകളും മനസ്സിൽ കാത്തുസൂക്ഷിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഇരിക്കാനാണ് കഥാകാരൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് driving home the fact that life is not a fiction novel or a movie losing and gaining becomes part of you life's journey and needs to be taken in our stride life is a constant process which cannot be stopped we can only carry memories forward while life goes on jeevanathe yaadharthya bodhodeyana samidikkanda aayadharthyangalo അതുപോലെ സാങ്കല്പികമായിട്ടുള്ള അനുഭവങ്ങളോ ഒരു ഫാൻറ്റസി വേൾഡ് അതോ അതിലൂടെയുള്ള സ്വപ്നങ്ങളോ ഒന്നുമല്ല ജീവിതത്തിൻ്റെ യാഥാർത്ഥ്യം ജീവിതം എന്ന യാഥാർത്ഥ്യത്തെ യാഥാർത്ഥ്യമായിട്ട് സമീപിക്കണമെന്നുള്ള ഒരു ആശയവും ഒരു മെസ്സേജുമാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ കഥയിലൂടെ കഥാകൃത്ത് പറഞ്ഞു തരുന്നത് Thank you for watching this video. We'll come with another video. Until then, goodbye to everybody.